Are you wondering how braces actually work? Time for some PFO and so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Ryan Packard. I'm in the McKinney and Anna, Texas area, Collin County. If you're in the area, come find us. I'd love to talk to you about straight teeth and beautiful bites. Okay, let's get to it. You are interested in how braces actually work. Well, I found this. We have other videos that you can check out too, like from our office, but I found this video online that I wanted to react to, see if there's any insight that I can give to you because there were lots of people watching this video. Let's get to it. Braces hurt. Wow. Wow. Right off the get go, uh? Double thumbs down? Braces? Come on. Braces are good, but they can cause soreness and they make it difficult to eat sometimes because your teeth are sore. But overall, they're worth it. Music is so ominous. And it's no. Oh one. my gosh, seriously? <laughs> they put the little braces on her like that. Your teeth aren't supposed to move like that but there's more happening here than meets the eye. Braces don't work the way you probably think because they don't- Are you sure about that? Like what do people think when they think of moving teeth? Like what's happening? I'd be interested to know what you think. Leave a comment below. To shift your teeth around. They have to break down your jawbone first. Whoa, that sounds serious. Okay, there's no sledgehammers involved in braces, just so you know. You might feel like it sometimes in the chair when it's like, Yeah. It usually doesn't have to get that intense, but sometimes, no, I'm just kidding. All the time, you're very gentle, okay? Jaw dissolving, like, yeah, it's a little, I mean, there's some truth, but I mean, those words specifically, it just makes it sound so bad. It sounds like a giant sinkhole happening in your jaw. That's not true. Americans pay up to $7,500 for braces per person. Up to, I've actually heard it's more, it can be more expensive in places like New York and California, but you know. And maybe even Texas, I don't know. I don't know, it just depends on who you find. There's lots of orthodontists out there. It doesn't always cost that much. That's why I said up to, it can be definitely less depending on what you need and how long. It's worth it. And not just for that perfect Instagrammable smile. You see misaligned teeth are tricky to clean, increasing your risk of tooth decay, gum disease, or even tooth loss. Okay, great point. Now, just to clarify, just because you have those things, like just because you have crooked teeth, doesn't mean that you will or sure get tooth decay, gum disease, or bone, excuse me, or tooth loss. Not necessarily. It just, it can contribute. So don't freak out if you have crooked teeth. But if you wanna talk about it, come find me. That's where braces can help straighten out the problem. But moving teeth is no easy feat because there's something in the way your jawbone. Now the orthodontist doesn't take out a drill and break your jaw themselves. Themselves? When do we ever break your jaw? Maybe the surgeons do, but that's because you need surgery. Maybe your jaws are like way out of whack and you don't ever break your jaw. Well, I mean, that's true. We do kind of like, you know, with an expander. Anyway, that's a different video. And they trick your body into doing the hard work for them. That's where braces come in. The wires are tightened across your teeth in order to create pressure against your gums. Pressure is being applied to the teeth. The teeth are connected to the gums through the periodontal ligaments, which are also connected to the bone. In turn, that pressure constricts blood flow to the tissue that holds your teeth in place, sort of like squeezing a hose to stop the water. And without blood, the tissue cells start to die. Now, normally that would be a major problem because without that supportive tissue, your teeth- Why did that tooth just come out? Fall out. But in this case, that's exactly what the doctor or dentist ordered. Because your immune system rushes to the rescue, sending in special cells called osteoclasts, which ultimately relieve the pressure and restore blood flow. They do this by sucking away the calcium from your jawbone. Yep, the cells are literally dissolving your bone. <laughs> Again, I don't know if it's that serious, not like having them on this massive scale, but these little cells, right? When you put the pressure on the teeth, the cells come in, these osteoclasts, cool name. They come in and they, yeah, kind of remove, eat away some of that bone on one side of the tooth so that the tooth can move through the bone. Let's keep going. It may sound like an extreme solution to the problem, but the result is a nice hole in your jawbone where the tooth can move in <laughs> away from the wall. Listen, you only really get massive holes in your jawbone if you take out teeth 
or you have some sort of like pathology in your bone that you have to get out and requires removal of the bone. But this, okay, this is a little bit maybe over the top. I'm just not opinion okay yes the cells do come in and they remove the bone where the pressure is so that the tooth can move through that area right that's how the teeth move they've got to move through the bone into their new straightened positions but we're not getting holes in our bone at least not in any significant way ultimately restoring blood flow so that the tissue stays alive and your teeth don't fall out but you don't just do all of this once People with braces have to check in with their orthodontist regularly because they need their braces retightened so more teeth can move into place. And the more teeth you have to move, the longer the braces will be on. Typically, the more teeth you have. Again, I don't know if that's exactly true. Usually time is associated with complexity, right? So how many teeth do you have, like they said, plus where are they? How do they fit together? And where do we want them to go? It can mean that the treatment time is short or it can mean that the treatment time is really long. It takes months to a couple years to get the job done, but eventually the ordeal ends, the braces come off for good, and you can enjoy your new smile. Hey, if the braces come off for good, that is up to you, man or woman. That is up to you, dude, whether or not you wear your retainers well, as instructed. Okay, wow. Hopefully that was insightful because I don't want a bunch of people walking around thinking that, you know what, braces leads to giant holes in your face because that's not what happens. At least not at such a large scale, all right? So when you've got your teeth, right? In review, in summary, you've got teeth. You can't see it because the gums cover, right? But you've got teeth, you've got gums, and then you've got the bone underneath the gums. The teeth fit into the bone and there's a little space in between the teeth and the bone. It's full of of periodontal ligaments. They connect the bone to the teeth and the gums are on the outside, all right? So when you wanna move the tooth, you put the pressure on through like an expander, through braces, through Invisalign clear aligners, and the bone, all right, feels the pressure. It feels the pressure and it recruits cells, osteoclasts. What we didn't talk about is osteoblasts. Osteoclasts and blasts. Clasts break down, blasts build up. And the clasts break down the bone around the tooth where the tooth is trying to move or feels the pressure to move. And then the osteoblasts build back up the bone on the other side. At least that's one way to think about it. Very simplified. Tooth movement is actually really complicated. So you know what? Don't worry too much about it. Just let me handle it. I'll take care of you. I promise. Hopefully you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that we can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth. And yep, you know it. Beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PF Owen so you know where you're going. Packard out.